Welcome back to the cluttered inside of the Ashtoon studio on a Friday afternoon. One o'clock in the afternoon on December the 18th, 2020. And yes, I would normally be working at the flea market right now. But the Friday mornings have really dried up since the, the weather dropped. And it is like close to freezing out there right now. Even Nestor over here is not looking quite as enthusiastic about charging through his pet door and coming back in. He's kind of sitting over there cat loafing. He's uh, looking very cozy today. <laughs> He's over there close to the space eater. So he might not walk through the frame. So here's a picture to keep you guys tied over. All right, so I haven't put out a whole lot of videos recently. And a part of that has been I have been busy making big batches of, of these. It's so, pickled carrots, spicy, excuse me, spicy pickled carrots and spicy pickled eggs. Now some of these in here, like that globe right there, that little, that's actually an onion. It's one of the little roaster onions. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've done enough of these now. I kind of feel like I've gotten a good handle on it. So I wanted to do one more big batch today, try to fill up these seven jars. <laughs> that I got from the Dollar General for $1.50 a piece. Hopefully I'll have enough eggs, onions, jalapenos, and carrots to fill these up. And I'm gonna make a video about it, show you guys the entire process, how I do this, and uh, you can guys can let me know just how, how, stupid, how stupid I'm being. Uh, again, this is not something I've done often, so I am kind of playing things by ear. All right, so uh, let's get started. Get out the ingredients. It takes a long time for this much water to come to a boil, so even from the beginning of the process, I've already started the water bath canner, and um, here's the water for the eggs. Looks like it's already starting to bubble just a little bit. Let's see how much we can get in here. Woo! before the water starts to overflow. I might have to dip some of it out. Go ahead and add a little salt because it helps water to boil and I think it adds a little more flavor to the eggs anyway. So let's do that. And as soon as it comes to a rapid boil, I will set a timer for 15 minutes. While I'm waiting on the water to boil, boil up those eggs, might as well use the time to go ahead and cut up these jalapenos. It uh, seems like the older I get, the more I get to like jalapenos. Uh, and they're cheap too. Like all of this you see right here was like $3.50 and that was Publix. It's probably a lot cheaper if you can find them at a discount grocery. Part is done. Water is boiling on the eggs. I think it has been for a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and set that timer for 13 minutes. In the meantime, I believe I should go ahead and put all of these jars on to boil. Oh good, the water is actually getting nice and warm in there. It's steamy, but it's not yet painful to the touch. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on to boil too, because why not? 
of everything I do today, letting that come to a boil is probably going to take the longest. Okay, eggs are done. So while these eggs are soaking in cold water, I might as well go ahead and start the brine because that's going to have to be heated up to a boil before it's poured into the jars. So that might take a little while. Let's get it started now. Starting with distilled white vinegar. And again, don't ask me for the quantities. I just kind of have a feel for how much I need for all the jars that I'm doing. I'm doing this by eye. And then I'm going to add whatever's left of this apple cider vinegar. Okay, and uh, the ratio of water to vinegar is normally about half and half, uh, but I like to go a little heavy on the vinegar. So it's going to be more like two thirds vinegar, one third water. And there we go. Now I'm going to throw in some of this coarse, pure sea salt. Uh, again, not really doing amounts. I'm just kind of doing it by feel. I like to pour it in my hand so I have I know exactly how much is going in there. And a little bit more. Okay, that'll do it. Just drop that on the new wave. Set it to boil. And hopefully it will and not boil over. I've given it about five minutes now. The jars still have not started boiling. But uh, now the part that I hate the absolute most, the part that I am not that good at, peeling the eggs. All right, let's do this. Brian has come to a boil and so has the jars. I've let them boil for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn this off, turn this off, and pull these steaming hot jars up out of the water. started. All right, I'm going to start by putting the spices in these hot jars, starting with a little scoop of peppercorn in each one, and then a little bit of coriander, a little bit of crushed red pepper, and then some yellow mustard seed. Probably going to use up what's left in this little jar. And finally, just a sprinkling of dill weed. When did that become a playground insult to call somebody dill weed? I, I don't know. I know it makes, it makes for some real good pickling. Now the first layer of jalapenos. And then a layer of eggs. Wow, okay, I'm running out of eggs a lot quicker than I thought I would. Okay, let's just see how far we can get. All right, then I'm going to add a small roaster onion.
Well, it took a little rearranging. These jars are actually a little differently shaped. I think a little bigger than the uh, last batch I did. Uh, so I just kind of had to rearrange some things, but I've got it worked out so that I'm only coming up with a little bit of carrots and jalapenos left over, which I can use like in salads and like lentils and stuff like that. And uh, so the, um, the eggs and the onions and the jalapenos are all put in there in kind of layers. The red that you're seeing there is cayenne pepper, and then I sprinkled in some um, dill weed on the different, different layers as well. So now we are ready to take this steaming hot brine and put it into the jars. It looks like I had a really good eye on the uh, how much brine I would need. That, that's that's all I had left over, and all of the jars are full. I'm letting them settle just a little bit to make sure they are completely full and everything is floating on the top. I think I am good. It is time to put these lids on. These jars are hot, hot right now. Okay, so finger tight. Okay, so at this point I could call it done because as this brine cools, it will pull a vacuum on them. Uh, but I want to be doubly safe. So I'm going to go ahead and water bath, boil all of them for about 10 minutes. And that is why I do this out here on the deck. Well, they have been boiling now for a good 10, 10, 12 minutes or so. I think that should do it. Heave. And there it is. There's my batch. Newest batch. Let's take them on inside. And there they are done sitting on the table cooling as they cool the little pressure cap things will suck down that will indicate that it has pulled a vacuum and they are canned and will stay fresh for at least a year probably probably longer so if you've been seeing this marker just kind of sitting there on the table that's that's what it's for i'm going to wait for these to cool and then write today's date on the caps and Yes, I am aware that these are pronounced jalapeno. I was purposely mispronouncing them for comedic purposes. So, if I see your comment down there saying these are actually pronounced jalapeno, I'll know. You were one of the ones that didn't watch all the way to the end. <laughs> uh, so, that is going to be it for this one. Uh, before I go there, let's go ahead and do one last shot of the channel mascot. How you doing, Nestor? <laughs> Yeah, you were bouncing around the studio last night, and then now you're nocturnal, aren't you? Is that what it is? Sometimes when he feels like he wants to be. All right, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Talk to you down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.